Now part 3 is asking for the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through P. Right? P is right here. So that perpendicular line probably looks something like this. Perpendicular means it's at right angle to the original line. 90 degrees to the original line. Alright? Now, if you remember that when two lines are perpendicular, their um, gradients multiply to give negative 1. Alright? So the original line negative 4. Now let me do that again. The original line gradient negative four fifth times the gradient of the new line, let's call it G, is equal to negative one. So what you can do, multiply both sides by five, you get negative four. Negative four G is equal to negative five when you multiply. Five cancels itself or on the left. And it multiplies negative 1 on the right, so it's negative 5. And you divide by negative 4. So when you divide by negative 4, negative 4 cancels itself. So you have G equals negative 5 over negative 4, which is positive 5 over 4. So that is the gradient of this new line, the perpendicular line. Now, what we have so far for this new line is a gradient. Now, again, of y equals 5 over 4x plus c for the new line. We need to find out what c is. c will be somewhere way down here, but would be falling off the graph what is going to be negative down here somewhere down here now what we have we have an a value of x and y at this point where they intersect this point here would be 5 halfway between 4 and 6 that's 5 so x is 5 the value of x is the x-axis going along the intersection occurs when x is 5 so x is 5 at that instant and y is well it's right on the x-axis so y is 0 y is 0 so what we have here is y 0 substituting y which is 0 is equal to 5 over 4 times x which is 5 times 5 plus c. This will enable us to find c. So 0 is equal to 5 over 4 times 5, 5, 5, 25 over 4 plus c. Alright? Then we continue here. So, what we have is 0 is equal to 25 over 4 plus C. What you can do is subtract 25 over 4 from both sides. If you minus 25 over 4 from here, you get C equals. And you minus 25 over 4 from here, you get negative 25 over 4. Alright? So, what we have is Y equal M, which is 5 over 4 X. Plus negative 25 over 4. Might as well write minus 25 over 4. Um, let's turn these into 
mixed fractions. So what we have finally for the gradient is y equal 5 over 4 is a mixed fraction is 1 and a quarter x minus what is 25 over 4 as a mixed fraction 4 6 is 24 is 6 and 1 fourth right so y is equal to 1 and a quarter x minus 6 and a quarter you could also write it as y equal 1.25x minus 6.25 as a decimal. All right. So the gradient is, or the equation of this new line, which is perpendicular to the line that passes through P, is y equals 1 and a quarter x minus 6 and a quarter.